From here, things start getting really interesting in the GC battle. The riders head out from Grotti de Fresley for the first summit finish of this year's Giro. 160 kilometers, three categorized climbs, and 3,400 meters of elevation in total await the riders. Forti di Gualdo is the first one of those categorized climbs, and at just over 10 kilometers, this is where the whittling down process will begin. Currently, De Marchi has a lead of 41 seconds, so it will be up to the other main contenders to try and gain time here and on the following ascents. There won't be much rest with the next test coming of Forcia di Presta at 100 kilometers. After the race has crest this, they will descend for 44 kilometers before the final battle to the finish line. San Giacomo, the final climb at 15.5 kilometers long is where the race will be decided. An early breakaway could last to here, or whoever has the legs in the general classification could go for the stage win, and with it, potentially, the Maglia Rosa. Fais mouiller un peu. Eh, ça a coûté cher ça. Ah ouais. Ouais, gâtillé, là. Ah ouais voilà. Le, le pub qui est fait pour pour Cofidis. Je deze maar aan. Yeah, I think we can really say it like this. Uh, yesterday was such a sad day with losing Mikel. And uh, yeah, today we just say we're gonna ride in the honor of Mikel's lost GC ambition or lost Chiro. And uh, we put everything in, in the breakaway and luckily Matei was super, super strong. And uh, oh, it's it's such a nice feeling after uh, after Paris missing so much, uh, so little, and now being on the top step is just like it's super nice. The Giro did not disappoint today, with Gino Mada taking the impressive victory over Egan Bernal and the Chasers. Attilia Valta goes into the Maglia Rosa. We'll see you back here for stage seven of the Giro d'Italia.